Hello my handsome and sexy dirty bastards, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna do a review about Hugo Boss, Boss Bottled Infinite Eau de Parfum. I'm gonna do a blind sniff. Friends of mine have opened it and they uh, wanted to smell it, so uh, I was like, okay, whatever. But I haven't smelled it. Alright guys, now grab yourselves a cup of coffee and put your balls in a good position and let's get into it. Right, Hugo Boss, Boss Bottled Infinite. Okay, so this is how the box looks. It's just simple blue. I think it's also like a blue-ish kind of a fragrance. At the back, we're going to get the notes. At the top, you just get the boss and some uh, information uh, here. Not so special. Okay. Let's see. Oop, okay. Okay, so this is how the bottle looks. I like it, it's simple. Let's see what we're gonna get from this fragrance. Okay. Hmm. Embraxen, I think. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so I get citrus. I think Embraxen. It is like um, Hugo Boss inspired by Dior Sauvage-ish kind of a fragrance, but it doesn't smell like Dior Sauvage. But it is a simple, simple fresh fragrance. Not that it is bad, not at all, but simple fresh. Yeah, I think this is, this has that DNA that a lot of girls really like. That's what it is. I like it. It is fresh. I get some aquatic shower gel-ish type of a vibe. Yeah, that's what I get. Hugo Boss goes aquatic. <laughs> aquatic Dior Sauvage, that way kind of a ish. That's what, uh, what this one is. It's good. I like it. Okay, what we're going to do right now is I'm going to let it settle down on my skin for two hours. And then I'm going to get back to you guys with a full review and everything that you need to know. Notes, how long it lasts. So uh, be right back in a sec. Two hours later. All right, guys, and I am back. So it has been two hours that Hugo Boss Boss Bottled Infinite has been sitting on my skin right now. And it is still fresh manly and it didn't really change only that it is less fresh but let's look up the notes so at the top you're gonna get apple cinnamon mandarin orange and sage middle notes you're gonna get lavender rosemary and patchouli and in the base notes you're gonna get sandalwood and olive tree now the things that i smell in this fragrance is apple cinnamon and orange I also do get lavender and patchouli and yeah, sandalwood and the olive tree, not so much. But those are the main things that I am uh, getting from this one. Now, this fragrance is a easy to wear kind of a fragrance. You can wear this easily all year round, just maybe not in the winter because I'm not sure if this one is strong enough for the winter. But spring, summer and fall, it's good. You're fine. This is just a easy to like kind of a fragrance, easy compliment getter. I, I already know that girls are going to love this one. And I also saw on Frankrantica that this one is heavily compared to um, Sadly. Now I understand where it is coming from, but um, it's not a clone, not at all. And uh, sorry to say it, but this one is 10 times better smelling than this one although this one is really good as well but this can't compete with how uh, how this one smells really no no but i just want to make sure that if you buy this fragrance that uh, it's not going to be a clone of sadly or smelling anything close to what sadly is no now this is just a very simple masculine office safe kind of a fragrance and if you can get this for cheap i would say pick it up but is it a fragrance that you really need to have in your collection definitely not it's just it's just good now the longevity and projection of this fragrance i don't know 
Curly of the Future is going to tell you that right now. This fragrance lasts a good six hours. But if you spray it on your clothing, it will stay the whole day. The projection is also very good. People are going to pick this one up very easily. So I suggest to spray on your skin and on your clothing to get the best performance out of this one. But watch out with your clothing because the juice is blue. All right, thank you. Curly fragrance of the future. If I could give this a rating, I would give this a solid seven. I know that this will be, it will get the job done. That's what it's going to be. So yes, is this one curly approved? Is it curly approved? Yeah, you know what? It is curly approved. You don't need to have this in your collection. Get this if you can get it around 40 euros, then it's a good buy. But above that, really don't get this one. Only get this one if you can get it for cheap. All right, guys, this was the fragrance video of today. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below what fragrance I need to review next. And maybe I will do it and see you in the next video. Bye bye. Oh, <laughs>